Hello viewers, we are going to learn about the basic concepts in relational algebra in this video. Relational algebra is a procedural query language in which the queries are expressed using several operators and this language is mainly used for designing and optimization of databases. Okay. Relational algebra is called as a procedural query language because it provides a clear roadmap or step by step procedure for evaluating the queries to reach the desired answer. Okay. Um, uh, since relational algebra queries are expressed using operators, it is very easy to specify the specific order step by step and also parentheses used in expressions control the order of operations performed. That's why uh, in relational algebra, it is very easy to specify the exact steps to be carried out step by step in order to reach the desired result. Okay, and this relational algebra language is used internally by the DBMS as part of query optimizer for making optimized query evaluation plan by query evaluation engine of database management system. Okay, uh, here uh, the very important point to be noted is that that is the fundamental property of relational algebra is that every operator in the query uh, should take one or more tables as inputs and produce as a single table as the output. Okay, um, this is very important property. Okay, uh, here um, one more point to be discussed here is that since relational algebra requires theoretical foundation on set theory, algebraic laws and um, mathematical knowledge, uh, it is not used by most people uh, who work with databases primarily for practical purposes. But uh, they may be interested on using SQL commands because uh, they are uh, user friendly and doesn't require uh, much mathematical knowledge. Uh, that's why people, uh, those who work uh, at the beginner level, they prefer to use SQL commands. But it is particularly very useful and uh, required uh, because relational algebra provide theoretical foundation uh, for the people who work with databases at a more conceptual level. For example, database designers, researchers, uh, advanced database administrators and the computer science students because in future they will work in a different uh, role um, in IT companies, right? That's why for them getting a um, strong foundation on relational algebra is very important. Let's now discuss how relational algebra is used internally in query evaluation engine with the structure of a DBMS shown here. Okay. Let's now focus only on query evaluation engine as it is more related to our discussion. Okay. Here you can observe that SQL commands from database users are received by query evaluation engine which is in turn responsible for executing the database operations effectively as required by the users. Okay. Uh, it achieves this process by using four components parser, optimizer, operator evaluator and plan executor. Okay. Initially SQL command is received by the parser which breaks down the query into number of tokens then it ensures if the query is syntactically and semantically correct or not and if the query doesn't have any errors then it converts the SQL query into parse trees which are constructed with relational algebraic operators. Okay, then uh, these parse trees are given as input to query optimizer uh, which is uh, responsible for generating several alternative query evaluation uh, plans in the form of relational algebra. And also it is responsible for producing optimized evaluation plan out of the many alternative plans. Okay. Now the optimized query evaluation plan is received by operator evaluator. And it performs actual data retrieval and manipulation operations. Uh, it uh, primarily focuses on performing individual operations as specified in optimized query evaluation plan. Okay. okay, then uh, coming to the plan executor, it is uh, responsible for overseeing the 
uh, execution of entire plan and also is responsible for coordinating and managing the flow of data between uh, different operations. Okay. Uh, in this way, query evaluation engine takes care of translating SQL queries into a series of relational algebraic operations and achieves optimized execution of database operations. Okay, students, uh, now I hope you can understand uh, that if you have a strong foundation in relational algebra, uh, then uh, it will help you to uh, design, optimize and innovate in realm of uh, query evaluation engines and as well as database systems. So, uh, having sound knowledge in relational algebra can be highly beneficial for your careers. Okay, students, let us now uh, have an overview on the operators used in relational algebra. Um, here, relational algebra operators can be classified into two types. One is basic operators, another one is additional or extended or derived operators. These basic operators are useful for performing fundamental operations, whereas additional operators are used for uh, performing complex operations, where additional operators are formulated by combining or extending the basic operators. Okay. Uh, here you can notice uh, both the type of uh, algebra operators, basic as well as additional operators are, again uh, they are classified into two more types, unary operators and binary operators. Whereas uh, unary operators take a single table as the input and uh, uh, work on it and uh, produces a single table as the output. Whereas uh, if we uh, take binary operators, they take uh, two tables as input tables and performs its respective operation and produces single table as the output. Okay. Um, let us now discuss uh, unary operators in basic operators. Uh, selection operator and projection operators are uh, classified under unary operator of uh, basic operators um, uh, because uh, these two uh, operators take a single table as the input and uh, produce a single table as the output and uh, um, whereas coming to binary operators in basic operators, uh, unary operator, cross product operator, set difference operators are classified under um, binary operator of basic operators. Okay. Coming to unary operators in uh, additional operator, rename operator is uh, uh, classified under it and um, under binary operators, intersection, division and join operators are uh, classified. And here rename, intersection, division operator, join operator, these are used for performing advanced operations. That's why they are classified under uh, additional uh, operators of relational algebra operators. Okay. Uh, students, we will discuss in detail about all these opera operators with suitable examples in the subsequent video. If you find this video useful to you, kindly subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.